Hey, what's up guys, JCO Toads here. Today I'm going to be doing a fly fishing video. I know I haven't made a video in a while, but I'm going to be doing one on fly tying. I know it's a little bit of a switch up, but I figured it could help to some of the guys out there that are fly tying. Um, I'm going to be tying a Frenchie today. I'm using a small tungsten bead, a 2.7 millimeter, 764th ounce copper color, which is this little bugger right here. And... I am also going to be using some Daiichi size 16 nymph hooks. Not quite nymph hooks, but these guys right here, if you want to know the information. You can just pause the video and look at that, but that's what I'm using. These are the bead heads I'm using. We're going to be doing a quick tie. I am using some fire orange thread. That's what I'm using right there, guys. So, alright, so here's how to make the fly. We're going to get a little bit of lead. 0.20 is what I'm using. A lot of guys use 0.15 for a majority of their flies. Snip off about an inch and a quarter piece. And do a couple turns around the shank of the hook. Just to weigh it down and give it a bit of a body underneath. Then we are going to get our scissors, and most guys helicopter it off, but I just snip them. Snip off your excess and tuck it up underneath the bead head. And then we're going to get our thread, wrap it once around our fingers, and start wrapping. Take a couple of wraps rearward to secure the extra line and snip it off like so. And then we are going to create the body. A little bit we're gonna take a couple wraps over that lead to secure it in and then we are going to create a dam right behind it so it's not going to slip like so you can see how that fades up into the body that is what you want all right now we are going to get a little bit of um mallard flank some tail feathers in general it looks like these little dudes where those are going to be our tail we're going to take those bring the thread back to the hook point and secure those in make one wrap over a couple wraps over and snip off the excess as you can see we made a little bit of tail right there now what we are going to do is we are going to get about six or so fibers from a pheasant tail feather, this guy right here. That's about six or so. Make them all go straight and then rip them off. We'll get a little bit of curlies, but you can just snip those off like so. Then we are going to get... the line, do a pinch wrap to secure these feathers in and then pull them until they line up evenly then we're going to wind our thread back to the behind the bead of the hook one more thing I forgot is to get a piece of wire about two inches big long wise and secure that onto the tail of the fly now we can start wrapping you're gonna get your pheasant tail and wrap towards yourself making sure they stay in a clump to cover the body and strapping upwards we are going to secure the feathers onto the hook and we're going to take our wire and wrap the opposite way that the feathers went so if you were wrapping towards yourself then get your wire and wrap away from yourself create a little bit of shine and then we're going to secure that just 
snip off the excess. Then what I'm going to do is reorient the hook so it's pointing upwards. Just because of this hook I'm using is very bent. You're going to get some, this is the dubbing I'm using. Sea's Edge Nymph Dubbing. It's um, pink. There's all the information on the back. It's floral pink. We're just going to take a small pinch of this stuff. You really don't need much. A lot goes a long way when these when you're using these smaller flies. Just a pinch about that big. Really, really small stuff. And you're going to create a noodle on your main line, your tying line. Not too big of a noodle. Just make it really thin and skinny. Only about an inch and a half long. Then what you are going to do is slide that up. Make it a little bit thinner. And you can add dubbing on, but don't overboard it because it's hard taking it off. You're going to wrap up a collar. That's a little bit overboard with the uh, fiber there. See, it's easy to take it off, but not to put more on. It's a little bit of a challenge. Just make sure you get just the right amount. We created a little neck. Then we're going to wind back up on our little vise, create a little bit of an orange neck right there, then we're going to get a whip finish tool. I like to go over the top, back over the second one. Oh, our neck came undone. Line this back up. Take it to wrap over under, create a four, number four with your tying vise. I'll do about, oops, this just does not want to cooperate with me today. We'll do about five or so since this is lined up unravel on us. You want to line that up with the body and you one, two, three, four, five, and then secure that in. Then what we're going to do is get the extra dubbing, just pull that off, get a bit, a bit of a nice neck, trim it up, make it look all nice and fancy. We're going to get some head cement in a bottle, get your bobbin or not your bobbin, your little, uh, little needle or whatever you want, a nail. Put that over the top just to make sure that that doesn't come undone. You don't have to do this, but I like to when you're fishing these flies a lot. And you're done. You can get your fly. That's what it'll look like right there, guys. There's your fly. Shout out to Caden Blake, by the way. And you're just going to get this guy. And you're going to get your box, pop it back in and let it dry. You can get a styrofoam cup lid. That works good for letting your flies dry. Um, but I just throw mine in my box. But there's a tutorial, guys. I hope you like it. Um, leave any comments down below if you got any questions. I'll get back to them as soon as possible. And uh, have a good one.